To start with number three, we're going to find estimates here, and we're going to do that using StatCrunch. So open the data in StatCrunch. And now here in StatCrunch, I want to go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear, because we just have one explanatory variable, x. So x, a y variable is called y. And let's hit Compute now. And so, let's move this over here so we can see the problem a little bit. Right up here in our output, we get the equation here. And this uh, number, this is the regression equation. And the number that's not by x, that's our beta sub 0. And the number that is multiplied by x is beta sub 1. Now to compute the standard error, it's our point estimate. That's given right here, the estimate for the standard deviation. Let me scroll down so we can see these. Assuming the residuals are normally distributed, determine SB1, and that is listed right here. So that's the standard error of our slopes. Go to the slope standard error line. Assuming that residuals are normally distributed, our null hypothesis is at zero versus it's not. 5% use the p-value approach. So we had our, when we set this up, it was actually set up correctly, simple linear. Um, our hypothesis test was that the slope, uh, the null hypothesis is slope zero. Alternative is that it's not zero. And um, our level is 0.95, which is an alpha of 05. And so that's what we did, which set us up for this. And our p-value, uh, the p-value is on the line for slope here. Scroll over and the p-value is listed for the slope. So that's our probability that our slope um, is in fact equal to zero, that it, the null hypothesis is true with the data that we were given. And this is a very small p-value. It's close to 1%, which is below alpha. So we're going to reject that null hypothesis. Um, so there's sufficient evidence to conclude, and it says that a linear relationship exists because our null hypothesis was that the slope is zero, which means there's no linear relationship. We just got a horizontal line. A slope of zero would be a horizontal line. Uh, but the probability of that being true is very, very slim. So we're going to accept the alternative hypothesis, which is that the regression line actually has slope, either positive or negative slope, um, which means a correlation does exist because we've accepted the alternative hypothesis. And number four is going to be almost identical to number three. Just run that same setup in StatCrunch. Um, it looks like we have the same alpha again. And we're doing that same sort of hypothesis test here in part D. So it's really very similar to three, just with some different data here.